Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. The new Strawman BLX system has many great features, but there's one aspect of the system that has confused some of our customers, and in this video, I'm going to try and clear up some of that confusion. The Strawman BLX implants all share the same prosthetic connection regardless of the size of the implant. And this allows you to use the same prosthetic components across the entire implant line. But also that's not entirely true. In addition to the universal components, the BLX line features some additional parts that provide extra flexibility, but those only work with the larger diameter implants. And this is where there can be some confusion. For the BLX line, RB is short for regular base and WB is short for wide base. The 3.5 to 4.5 implants are all considered RB, while the 5.0 and above are all considered WB. The components that will work on all of these implants are called RBWB, and they feature a narrow emergence profile at the connection. The components that will only work on the large diameter implants are called WB, and they have a wider emergence that actually rests on top of the implant. It seems simple enough, but here's where it gets slightly complicated. Let's say a 5mm diameter WB implant is placed, and then a 5mm diameter healing abutment is used. So far so good, those are completely compatible. Next, an impression is taken using the WB impression coping, and the case is sent to the lab. The RX that's sent with the case also mentions that it's a BLX WB implant. The lab makes the crown using a WB abutment, and then, when it comes time for delivery, the abutment won't seat. So what happened? Well, the interface of the WB abutment didn't match the interface of the 5mm healing abutment, which actually is an RBWB. And there's two reasons why that mismatch could prevent the abutment from seating. Tissue and bone. When the RBWB healing abutment is placed, it leaves a nice little space at the interface. And if the top of the implant is at or above bone level, tissue is going to grow into that space really quickly. And if the implant is subcrestal, bone is most likely going to grow into that space eventually. So when it comes time to seat that WB abutment, you're going to have a hard time unless the tissue or bone that's holding it up is removed. And to complicate it even more, this wouldn't necessarily have been apparent when taking the impression because the RB and WB impression copings are exactly the same with the exact same narrow emergence profile. The only difference is that the RBWB impression coping is pink and the WB impression coping is brown. So how is this prevented? Well, typically when you're ordering an impression coping, you get one that matches the platform size of the implant. But with BLX, the impression coping needs to match the healing abutment instead. Whether the implant is an RB or a WB doesn't really matter. What matters is the size of the healing abutment. But remember, the impression copings are exactly the same except for the color. So if you do find yourself with the wrong one, just make a note on the RX about what size parts should be used and you're good to go. And there's one more thing. If you want screw retained splinted restorations, the lab will need to use non-engaging abutments. And there's actually just one non-engaging option and it has an interface that's different than the other two that I just talked about. It's similar to the WB components and that it covers the top of the implant, but it's got a smaller diameter that works with all of the implant sizes. Due to this difference, Strawman offers specific bridge healing abutments that should be used when planning for splinted screw retained restorations. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.